so we're going to tell you a brief story if you've been listening to us for a while you've heard it until you could tell it as well as we but we're going to tell it to you anyway because it's the basis of everything that's coming next your vibration the larger part of you is pure vibration meaning no resistance that is discernible by you you're here in this physical body is an extension of that and as you explore you are vibrationally expanding always that vibrational expansion is the reason for the emotions that you feel that's a new statement we've never made before your vibrational expansion is the reason for every emotion that you feel when you feel elation it means you're hot on the heels of your own expansion when you feel frustration you're lagging behind when you feel depression you're way behind when you feel anger you're way behind when you feel love you're right up to speed so the emotion that you feel is your indicator of your relationship with the further most expanded part of you humans want to call that part of you God we don't like that word very much because you have misused it so much you don't even know what it means we refer to that non-physical part of you as your inner being but it's the vibrational part of you who expands constantly who evolves constantly as a result of all that you're participating in so that expansion is key to how you feel because you can't stop the expansion life just keeps calling it from you if someone's rude to you you expand into an idea of a nicer world if you don't feel good you expand into the idea of feeling better if you feel disturbed about something you expand into more clarity about that idea we just want to show you how you can keep up with your expansion and therefore close that vibrational gap between you and you and therefore feel good most or all of the time and therefore fulfill your reason for being and therefore get on the track of that which you intended when you decided to come forth into this physical body to begin with and therefore live the life that you intended and therefore return push the reset button to that bright brilliant being that you were when you were first born before you had been convinced by others to begin focusing in ways that sort of put a dimmer on your light switch you see so you create your own reality do you like the idea of that we do you are the point of attraction of your own reality so in order to make you understand this more easily we've been talking to you about this expanded part of you and we're referring to that launching of desires and the law of attraction culmination of all of the desires that you've been launching as your vortex your creative vortex your vortex of creation we've been demonstrating this vortex we've been saying to you wrote a whole book about it in fact just get in the vortex get in the vortex do your best to get up to speed with the vibrational part of you and recently we've been explaining to you that while that vibrational part of you exists that you could be and in fact often are standing with vibrational variants to that vortex to the things you want to who you've really become to all that you are and that vibrational variance is what negative emotion feels like every time so in helping you to close the gap in that vibrational variance we want to now make you aware of where you stand so you see what's going on this is the way we're telling you this story of who you are you were non-physical before you came into this body and now that you're in this body you are in this body and non-physical so there is the potential for a vibrational variance from in this body you expand and that non-physical part of you takes the expansion so now there is the potential of more variance between who you have become and who you are allowing yourself to be and now we want to show you how to close that gap again are you sort of getting this cycle of life that we're talking about so once you accept that you are a vibrational being and that you have expanded and that you want to close the gap now we want to talk about where you stand and so we've been reaching for words to help you sort of kind of understand this point of attraction we say things to you that are annoying in the beginning like all of your power is in your present and only now is what matters but we want you to understand that right here right now you've got a relationship with who you really are and with all that you've become and every emotion that you feel is about that relationship 
so if you're feeling fantastic you're right up to speed in this moment in other words the thoughts you're thinking right now don't contradict who you really are and what you really know so there is a merging a blending an aligning there is a resonating there is a you allowing yourself to be you but if you're feeling negative emotion then not so much so we want to call your attention now to this point of attraction because this really is where all of your power is you have the power right here and right now and nobody else has that power for you and you don't exercise it very well but you're gonna get better and better at it you have the power right here and now to affect a vibration to launch a vibration to offer a vibration to enact a vibration to get a vibration going to offer a vibration to emit a vibration to send a vibration to send out a signal you have the ability to do it right here right now so we're calling this your vibrational grid it's like this is your vibration you know how the frame of a house looks before the walls go up or even the roof goes on it's a framework that will fill in with all of the textures and fabrics and details of your life but it's a vibrational grid that's where you stand right here right here you stand here now we want to talk to you about what vibration or what emotion you are holding or maintaining or emitting while you're standing here in your powerful now are you elated so the grid spins and we want you to think of the grid as an emotional grid the grid spins so pure positive energy elation exhilaration love appreciation high flying good feeling Ooh, high flying or there is depression not so high flying or there is overwhelmment not so low but not so high flying in other words all of the emotions that you know they equal these sort of spinning grids these points of attraction and you've got different grids on different subjects and you've sort of got a medium grid you've sort of got the grid where you usually hang out so we're gonna drive you a little crazy because we're gonna call it your grid we're gonna call it your high-flying disc we're gonna call it your spinning grid we're using every word that we can find because we want you to begin to understand your point of attraction and what you're doing with it and even more important we want you to understand the vibrational grid that you're choosing and its relationship to this high-flying vortex that is you in other words you can't set your radio dial on 98 FM and hear what's being broadcast on 93 FM the frequencies have to match up so we want you to understand that your vortex the vibrational version of you all that you've become it's that you that was you before you came into this body that's been expanding as a result of everything that you've been living in this body this high-flying vortex that is you has a very high frequency that you got to find if what's in your vortex is going to flow into your reality so that you then can see it here at smell it taste and touch it in other words you've got to get on the wavelength of it or you're not going to realize it you're not going to have the actualization the realization the manifestation the demonstration all of those things all of those words mean the same thing you're not going to know it in that truest physical visceral this is the way I'm living this is who I be sense unless you are a consistent vibrational match to it does that make sense to you so we like that you heard that we like that you get that we like that you know that we like that you're planning on practicing that you are planning on practicing that aren't you <laughs> we like that you're planning on practicing that because once you get hold of that uh, Esther's grandchildren gave her a pen a writing pen and it's it's her favorite because it looks like a magic wand it's about this long and a pretty little bobble on the end of it and she writes and just waves it around in the air because it just feels like she ought to be able to just point at anything and it ought to line right up with her you begin to get this invincible feeling when you understand that you are your point of attraction and that you can control your point of attraction then you begin to understand that you can carve out a path of least resistance to anything that you want better said you can carve out a path of least resistance to anything wanted or unwanted and do you know how you carve out a path of least resistance by giving it attention because when you give it attention 
you offer a vibration and law of attraction brings more vibrations like it until a momentum begins to happen that carves out a path of least resistance between you and it and as you carve out paths of least resistance between you and whatever your subject of attention is then you go to it and it comes to you you rendezvous you become one you become co-creative partners wanted or unwanted because you've carved out the path of least resistance Esther has a beautiful stream and pond in Texas at the center at the Abraham Hicks publication center such a pretty thing and the stream when it was first put in was so clear the fish were so beautiful but over the years it became increasingly cloudy until Esther realized she couldn't see the fish so experts came out to evaluate it and they decided it just needed a bigger pump the pond works by drawing water out of the bottom of the pond the stream goes down into a pond the pond has the pipes in the bottom the pipes draw it into the filter the filter filters it and aerates it and puts it back in to the pond but it wasn't clear so finally it was determined that the pipes bringing the water back into the pond were all clogged up from neglect so they just laid some new pipes it was easier than digging the old ones out it was easier than trying to clean the old ones out they tried all of that they just laid new pipes new pipes from the pump to the pond and right away the pond cleared up so we want to say to you that we love you so much but you've got some clogged pipes <laughs> because you're asking for things step one you're asking you're asking and non-physical the universe law of attraction is delivering to you the results of your request that's the filter but if you are not in a vibrational place that matches what you're asking for your pipes are all clogged up so we think that it's time to lay some new pipes but we don't think it's a good idea to try to lay the new pipes when you are so vividly aware of the clogged pipes because when you give your attention to your clogged pipes you just get more clogged pipes in other words we want to show you how by giving attention to what you are wanting you will carve out a path of least resistance to what you're wanting so we're eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you we're going to be visiting about the momentum of your experience we want you to begin to recognize that when you give your attention to a thought and you hold your attention upon that thought start again every subject is two subjects on one end of this stick is what you want and on the other end of it is the absence of the very same thing so every subject is really two subjects wanted and absence of it so when you give your attention to something whether it's something wanted or the absence of something wanted when you give your attention to it and you maintain your attention for as little as 17 seconds another thought like it will join it and that's that thought momentum that we want you to focus upon hold that thought for another 17 seconds and another thought like it joins it and another 17 seconds another thought and by the time you cross the 68 second mark we are not just making up seconds for the fun of demonstration 17 seconds you've got 17 seconds to decide the momentum of a thought and if during that 17 seconds you stay with it and another thought joins it now that thought has more power and once you cross that 68 second mark you've got enough momentum going that it will be likely that you will follow through with the momentum of that thought into some sort of manifestation so we just want to call your attention to that because when you begin to recognize how powerful your thoughts are it makes you want to flow them with a little bit more precision this is going to be a conversation of true fine-tuning we don't want you to freak out about the thoughts that you're thinking we see you <laughs> cancel cancel <laughs> trying to <laughs> suck <laughs> suck them back <laughs> Esther said to someone the other day I have something to tell you and I only have 17 seconds to do it in <laughs> she was very fast in her conversation but we want you to realize that you have the capacity to choose a high-flying disc your probability of finding it is first thing in the morning 
before other things have become active that make it more difficult so now you understand about law of attraction don't you